say to that, it's Fia Frances. So today, we are going to open my time capsule. So basically, you know the thing that to all the boys of love before cast did in their movie. And basically, it's not a materialistic thing. It's all about experience. So here, right here, I have this jar. That is the things that happened to me, the good things that happened back in 2020. And so we all know, we all know that 2020 has been a challenging year. I didn't anticipate that it will be a lockdown until I did this. It was the first time that I did this in 2020 because I think 2020 is going to be a, a fancy year. Like it's going to be an extravagant year because it's 2020, right? So I made this. I use this jar to put the things that are going to happen for the next month and days and yeah. So I did not anticipate that it will be a very very challenging year. But yeah, out of all that, out of all the things that happened in the past, right? Out of all the things that happened in the past, we I have experienced all of these things. And it's very nice to look back and see what God has done for our life, for my life specifically, in this um, tiny jar that I prepared. Yeah, so yeah, here goes the time capsule. So basically, some of the things that happened back in 2020, I did not put here because I forgot. So I forgot some of the things. Yeah, I think the most memorable things are here in a month. So, I'm going to open it now. And I haven't read any of this since January and so on. So, um, some of these events have dates. Some do not have because sometimes I forget to put dates. But, I am going to open this up right now. Um, based on what I remember, the things that are called um, are the old ones. The white stuff here, the white papers are really very much recent now. So here it goes. I am going to open my time capsule. Oh, okay. So this is an old one. It says, I have the opportunity to do to host a show. So I host one segment in that, in the AIM show, in a Achievers Admission show. It's called um, AIM High. And now in 2020, one, I am I am hosting together with the other pastors and hosts Be Like Christ and In His Image for the meantime. I have the opportunity to be a host for the AIM show and praise God for the, this great opportunity. So yeah. Oh. So it happened in so Yeah, it's my sister's birthday and it says here, Stephanie's birthday surprise was a success. So... Um, I don't know if I have a clip here or in my phone that we did um, Stephanie's birthday here at home because basically it's quarantine now and we did it at home. We told her that there will be no parties, there will be no going out because yeah, it's quarantine. Of course, there should always be some something special for her. So we arranged the thing downstairs. We prepared something little for her and then she eventually cried because she was surprised. So that's it. It was a success. The next thing is let's try the orange. So now this is an orange. I'm going to read first because oh yeah. Wow. Wow, I forgot about this. So it happened in January 9, 2020. Can you read it? So it says here I became an assistant leader in January 9, 2020. It's my first time in the leadership, so this is a very memorable moment for me because being a leader is a privilege. It's a privilege for me to be a leader and to be given this opportunity to lead the people of Christ. This assistant leader role is about assisting in evangelism, in sharing the word of God in our choir, in our higher dimension choir. So it happened in January 9, and I'm grateful for it. Oh, I had a vision that I will pass Upcut with a high score. So basically, it's a high score. Yeah, I had a high score. 
had a high score, but I, I did not make the quota. It's my dream school, but everything happens for a reason, and God has a plan for me. So I guess I didn't enter UP, and yeah, everything happens for a reason instead of UP because it's so far. So this is an orange one. Oh, so yeah, I turned 18 and had a fun party. So this happened in. Yeah, I won't say the date, but yeah. So, I had, I turned 18 and had fun, had a fun party. So basically, yes, I had a, a fun party here at home. It's also quarantine. We had a, a mini pool party. We did barbecue and stuff. And yeah, I did not regret any of it. We saved the money for my enrollment in school. We had really fun, genuine fun. When... I celebrated my 18th birthday so yeah I turned 18 and had a fun party literally next one what is this I forgot about this so it happened in May 7 2020 our boss in school um, approved our alternative proposal oh okay so because since it's quarantine again the students cannot have a proper graduation and the actual graduation as you know we are doing school photography so we had a proposal for her and her family and everyone in the admin they approved that proposal on to the next one man oh it's in september 6 2020 i opened a go group in our school yeah this is um one of the reasons why i enjoyed i enjoyed and ha had no regrets when i entered because i opened the go group and it's really nice even when we're online i get to share the word of god and it's really this was the only time that i shared the word of god by myself and to my peers to my class so it's really been an exciting time for me so i put it here so that i will remember oh so this is the next one so daddy's in quarantine and is now in the philippines manila bay so my dad is an ofw correct ofw and he's a photographer in a cruise ship so in a cruise ship cruise ship or cruise ship so yeah he came home last may may 2020 and yeah it's been a really long time that he was in quarantine and yeah they came home and it's like one month because of all the protocols and such so we need to wait for him to come home and praise god that he's safe he's now here and we're praying that we will all be protected of course we will all be protected by god the next one is Oh, I think this is in preliminary. So I had no lower grade than 80. Last first sem. Yeah, first sem. Yeah, I had no grade lower than 80. So it's a it's a huge, huge accomplishment that I had no grade lower than 80 because it's very hard. All the subjects are like major major subjects, so I have to maintain my grade. 85 and above so yeah i had no lower grade than 80 and praise god for that so the next one is oh um i'm catching up at school pretty well so yeah it's very very hard to have an online class when you're in med i mean you're in a medicine field or um people know that because you cannot study anatomy when you are online because you don't have the models and such you don't you cannot dissect or do laboratory stuff when you are at home so it's very hard to study we just use this complete anatomy 3d app and that's where we learn the parts of the body every system is there all systems are there like the respiratory system um, digestive system, skeletal system, muscular system, everything is there. So that's where we study for our practical exams. So yeah, um, diba I told you earlier that we opened the go group. 
So in August 20 to 29 to 30, I had the opportunity to evangelize my classmates. And it's very, very, very enjoyable. I did not realize how enjoyable that is to be able to share the word of God confidently and without hesitation. Like, I, I just had the confidence from the Lord that this is it. This is the opportunity. I am going to grab it. So yeah, that is the time that I got to share the word of the Lord to them. So August 29 to 30, I bought my first ever eyeshadow palette. Oh, I think this is around July. It doesn't have a date. But here it is. You know that I use this all the time. This color board. If I master doing my eyeshadow, I will be buying the you know, high end ones. But this is a, a beginner pack. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. So this is a very memorable moment for me. It's the first. So the next one is. Oh, I am completely healed from chicken pox. I did not realize that I had chicken pox last year. So, I left school for about three weeks because I wasn't completely healed from this chicken pox. Oh, this chicken pox. Anyway, I was, I left school for about three weeks and I haven't done any work. I think it's around April. March to April. Yeah, and I'm happy that God healed me because it's really frustrating. Look, I have this white mark here and it's from the chicken pox and it's really, really frustrating. If you ever had chicken pox, it's okay because you will never have it again. So that's a good sign. Anyway, oh, <laughs> this is so funny. So Marie, if you're watching, so I listed this down. So Marie and I are best friends again. <laughs> in Febru february 15 2020 so after valentine's day so after the heart day because we had a i don't know a separation i guess and i got again it's her birthday tomorrow so please greet her a happy happy birthday so basically we had a short fight and we haven't been talking to each other properly for about two years but she's my best friend don't get me wrong but we just had a misunderstanding about something and yeah we're best friends again and we're perfectly talking right now and very sincerely and maturely right now i think we're not that mature yet but yeah we're grown i mean i think you know we're a bit grown ups a bit grown ups so i guess we understand each other more because of of the things that we understood and so the next one is i had an award in m&ms in media mission ministry so best in art art and attendance oh this is so this is so memorable because i joined m&ms because of maritone the previous one my best friend back in 2020 i joined m&ms and it was really fun i did not realize how fun to be in a youth ministry so best in art card and attendance praise god that i'm handling the art card team and praise god i was just a junior junior member here <laughs> level one member here oh february 9 2020 i had a chance to i need not to discuss this but uh, he's a whatever friends what i'm talking about so the next one is so this is related to my birthday my parents gave me a new phone for my birthday yeah they gave me a new phone because my phone the camera is broken and i'm really not complaining about the camera but the, they just yeah it's really really hard for me <laughs> so i have a crush before this is um let's have a nickname for him sandy yeah sandy that was the nickname for this guy before in my school so sandy loved my picture for my graduation so this is a really huge thing you guys when your crush loved your picture like i don't know sandy loved my photo and it's so i really liked it because he he doesn't often love my photo just anyway next one there's a one green colored thing 
left we have the white ones left okay on to the next one so here we go oh i received 2000 pesos for my birthday that's not explanatory self-explanatory i mean it's self-explanatory it's a really huge thing that you receive 2000 for your birthday and i hope that someone will give me 2000 again even when it's not my birthday no oh so i got into the publications committee yay so it's about um doing art cards again but in school and um doing the powerpoint presentation when we have an event so it's really a very enjoyable thing for me to do those things and i'm having fun doing those things because it's always it's all related to our business brand <laughs> photography oh i had two hair haircuts this year that's a very unique thing because i have had a long hair for about what two years i had a long hair for two years and i had i feared on going short because my hair did not grow really nicely when i cut it before when i was in elementary so i maintained it that way i think i had a haircut when i was in grade 10 after my moving up ceremony i had a haircut like this as well but it not it did not turn out pretty nicely so yeah my mom cut my hair basically the first one is we had our parlor restock cut my hair and this second one is my mom cut my hair it's nice right if you haven't watched that video click on this right button right here so october 12 2020 so i got high grades in my prelim prelim term yeah so i wrote that in the previews maybe i forgot that i wrote it but i had high grades in the prelim oh maybe the, the first one is about my whole first term yeah so i had high grades for the first term praise god for that and yeah this this one is part of the prelim term the next one is ace my practical and written exams for midterm yeah i ace so i am pretty much happy for that so next one is open a campus go group in august so yeah maybe i forgot about it again but it's basically the same the go group by the way is a bible study yeah we have a bible study in hsi if you watch this and you are interested in joining our bible study feel free to contact me anytime okay we are not i'm um, having limits allowing people to know the word of god so the next one is was able to bring an old friend back into the ministry yeah this is really a very very exciting one because to be able to bring your friend back into the ministry and he eventually um saw the hand of the lord work quickly when he joined the ministry like he had favor in his basketball basketball tryouts and everything he had emails and such so yeah it's really a nice thing to be able to encourage one person right so oh what my eyes try to call it again oh i forgot about it oh so this one is nikon gave birth to three doggies mamiya tamran and sigma so i think you know that already that nikon had three doggies and their names are mamiya tamran and sigma and basically tamran went to doggy heaven already again and mamiya and sigma are the ones left here with us oh i had honors for preliminary in october 16 2020 praise god for that because yeah just like what i said earlier i had high grades in the preliminary so praise god that i had on <laughs> so we don't have a paper we don't have a certificate yet but i think yeah i think that they they will be giving that oh yeah we had the next one is we had clients this lockdown clients in our photo book in our framing wood wooden canvas 
stuff. So we had clients this lockdown, and it's really, really exciting to make um the photo books and thought because they appreciate all the things that we are giving them and praise God for that. The next one is oh. I had the opportunity to be a secretary in Media Mission, M&M. This 2021, I had the opportunity to ha- be the secretary in Media Mission, a secretary in Media Mission. And praise God again for the opportunity. There are many opportunities I haven't realized. I hadn't realized. Oh, here. Became the most promising assistant leader in HDC. Right when I, I, I told you earlier that I became a assistant leader in January 9 so praise God for this for this award I became the most promising assistant leader for 2020 and it was awarded in our Christmas party in HTC in higher dimension praise God the next one is oh this is a very exciting one so I had a video for this one I haven't realized so we were back to church in October 17, 2020. Hashtag after 31 week. Wow. So I had a video about this. I will put this link here in the right corner. So we were back to church. And really, it's really, really exciting in the courtyard of the world. So now, the next one is Oh, we made many photo books this year. So it's actually related to the other one that we had clients oh here officially graduated from high school in december 19 2020 oh finally after accomplishing the first exam i officially graduated from high school and thank god that i am now in college and am pursuing the dream and i don't know what what the plan of the lord is but yes I officially am a college student so yeah the next and last but not the least I think and I hope uh, about my reconciliation with my best friend definitely not the least so it's repeated but it means a lot to me so yeah it's her birthday again meet her if you can so basically that is it the door is empty I will be filling this again with many memories that are very relevant and again i haven't realized how much god has blessed me with so much so much so much i mean people all the things despite all the things that happened despite all the eruption of the coronavirus everything really happens for a reason and that's what you have to keep in mind that everything happens for a reason and God has his plans laid out for you. He knows the plans that is best for you. The thing that I guess I'm going to say for the final is do not be discouraged. Always remember to put your hope in him. Do not be discouraged. God bless you. And I'll see you again in the next vlog. Bye!